what is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing day and today's video we are going to be taking a look at this android one rom for our mia 12 device so again this supports all of the snapdragon 720g mia 12 lineup which will be the note 9 pro redmi note 9s note 9 pro max redmi note 10 lite and the poco m2 pro so I was searching through a few of the pixel style ROMs, stock AOSP to run on my Note 9 Pro as MI14 itself runs really good on the 720G but it's a bit heavy and I wanted the latest Android 15 experience as the Android 16 source built ROMs will actually take a bit of a more time like around September or October. So until then, I went through a few of the pixel ROMs like the Pixel OS, Pixel Experience is Dead and other alternatives but a lot of them were being neglected, not updated fully or had bugs. So I stumbled upon this recent project which will be an Android 1 based source built ROM for our Note 9 Pro and this is quite good like the ROM is extremely fluid, it's heavily de-bloated like you will see basic Google Apps which can be uninstalled and it doesn't have any kind of excessive pixel features which are mostly now software based or cloud based which don't actually work fine. So if you compare this to Lineage OS, it has a lot of under the hood optimizations and Google support, which is great. Again, this device passes for basic Google Play integrity. So you will have the banking apps working fine. So let's just go through the UI. As you can see, the Google now is really butter smooth. If you just go through UI, everything is extremely fluid. If you just go to extra toggles, there is nothing much but you do have google play services toggles and mio camera which is the default camera in this thing and it works just fine i've tested it for basic features like the video recording in ultra wide and stuff and it just works fine so you don't lose any kind of camera functionality again you have the option of gcam which will support far more better than hyperos or mio right over here so going through apps and stuff the rom is extremely fluid like you can just glide through apps and it will have no issue like you can see, you can just fly through apps and they will work just fine. Even the web-based apps are very fluid. This comes with a red cherry kernel as default. But if you just go through animations and stuff, there aren't a lot like compared to Pixel. That's why the ROM is very butter smooth. This is the normal lock screen. Again, the developer has added few of the quality of life changes like this recent build comes with smart glance on lock screen. So you have the weather right over there, as you can see quite fine it's different than the weather app if i just go over here even this one looks quite beautiful it's few more permissions but let's just go back if you go through more apps they don't have much of the pixel features but they do get the job done like you have pretty much everything so going back you also have spatial audio support and dolby atmos to just enhance your audio experience throughout the rom and if you just go through the new volume panel you also have the spatial audio and live caption support completely working fine as this is an android one rom it isn't completely featureless you still get quality of life features so hopping down to the settings directly i'm not a huge fan of this layout to be honest the shuffle i don't like it much but if you just go through stuff you have normal things like android routines then again few device specific features have been added like double tap to wake again this rom won't be heavily customized or have unusual features but developer is adding few of the features which people are requesting like double tap on status bar to lock maybe or double tap the lock button for torch we'll see in future if he adds that but if you just go to colors the color palette just works fine just keep it on natural color contrast works fine which is a android system feature Going down to the battery, I think this is a pixel feature which has been added. Just a basic widget, nothing much. If you go to battery manager, you still have the adaptive battery, nothing much. This ROM did actually came with a battery cycle count which has been removed I guess cause other features weren't working. Again you have the Android protective back, completely working fine and enabled. Scrolling down, system, nothing much. If you just go here, this just basic stuff like navigation mode and gestures. I don't know why it's separate. But yeah, you do have circle to search, which works fine. This is the first time I'm launching. That's why it's a bit laggy, but let's just do that again. There you go. Pretty smooth. And the latest versions do actually work quite nice. Scrolling down, nothing much. You have about phone section. Let's just visit that. You have Android 15, the last Android 15 build. Then you have the June 1 security patch. Again, this ROM as per the developer will be updated quarterly and you will have security patches provided by the developer which is nice you have the red cherry kernel as default as i told you before 
scrolling down password and keys digital well being nothing much in this specific update developer has actually also added face unlock which hasn't been part of aosp so android one also needed enabling that separately fingerprint and face unlock fingerprint just works fine nothing much over there and yeah guys that's pretty much it for a quick look of android one rom for our mi toll lineup i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like and subscribe down there for more videos like this Again, if you want to install this ROM, it's very simple. Just grab your FB V2 recovery and flash the ROM. The decryption and everything just works fine. And see you guys in the next one.